The Bamboo Lab P1P is the most affordable way to get into a Core XY printer from Bamboo Lab. It is getting up there in age, but has come down a lot in price over the years at $399, should you still consider picking one up, if you can. But we'll get on that here in just a little bit. The P1P in essence is just a slimmed down version of the P1S. The main difference is that the P1P is an open air design and it lacks an auxiliary fan. Because of that open design, you are going to be more limited on the kinds of filaments that you can print. You're going to be good to go with PLA, PETG, and TPU but don't expect to print anything like nylon, ABS, ASA, or any other temperature sensitive materials. The print quality from the P1P is just as you'd expect from Bamboo Lab. It's great. Since it shares the same overall mechanical design as the P1S and the X1 Carbon, the print speeds are fast and the quality straight out of the box is just fantastic. The one thing that is currently a big annoyance for me is that the spool is mounted on the back of the machine. That is a real pain to deal with, especially when this is sitting on my metal shelving back here. On the plus side, I do find that the open design does make working on the printer a lot easier. Since you don't have walls or a door to deal with, it is really easy to access the inside from any angle. Is it a good first printer? Honestly, I think it's a solid choice. While it doesn't have any fancy automatic flow rate calibration like the Bamboo Lab A1, it is still a core XY machine. And if you plan on printing tall objects, it's really hard to beat this kind of design. The bed moves up and down rather than a back and forth like a bed slinger. It helps with stability and the print quality on taller builds. Another bonus is that the core XY machines do tend to take up less space overall. The P1P shares the same 256 by 256 by 256 build volume as the other Bamboo Lab printers, minus the new H series and the A1 Mini. That's great because it means the build plates are readily available. Out of the box, it ships with a 0.4 stainless steel nozzle, which means you won't be printing any carbon fiber or glass filled filaments unless you upgrade to a hardened nozzle and a hardened extruder gear. The build plate can reach up to 100 degrees Celsius and it does have a built-in chamber monitor that can do time lapses. Just keep your expectations low. It is a 720p camera that runs at a whopping 0.5 frames per second. It's usable, but let's be honest, it's really, really, really bad. The screen is usable, but like the P1S, it's definitely due for an upgrade. It doesn't bother me much since I typically execute all my commands through Bamboo Studio to load and unload filament or move the printhead around if I need to. Once upon a time, you could pick up a Big Tree Tech Panda Touch to upgrade the screen. Unfortunately, Bamboo Lab has killed off all access to third party accessories like this. One real big thing that I've started taking into consideration is just how accessible the replacement parts are. Bamboo Lab is definitely one of the industry leaders in that. As someone who runs a small print farm myself, having parts readily available to purchase for a much needed repair or just to even keep extras on hand is a huge bonus for me. I really value transparency when it comes to receiving products from manufacturers, but I ordered this one myself and paid full price for it. For the record, I have no relationship with Bamboo Lab at the time of this video. All videos prior to this featuring Bamboo Lab printers were all ones I purchased myself at full price. This video is definitely not sponsored by anybody but my members on Patreon. Thank you to my members on Patreon, and if you're interested in signing up and helping support this channel, there'll be a link for that down in the description below. While the printer does show sold out, I have been assured by live chat customer support that it will be restocked and that it's not discontinued. So is the P1P still a good buy in 2025? For $399, it's honestly hard to argue against it. Sure, it's an open air design, but it still delivers fast, reliable, and clean prints. And it's a great entry into the Bamboo Lab ecosystem. There's a good chance that if you're watching this, you're trying to decide between the P1P, the El Centauri Carbon, or the Bamboo Lab A1. You can find both of those videos right here where I review those printers, and you should definitely watch those before making any decisions. This is Adam from the Rad Dad Print Lab, and I'll see you next time.